Today, we're doing some injectables on a patient with skin of colour. Hi guys, my name is Dr Sarah Tonks, I'm a cosmetic physician in London. Many people with darker skin types don't think they can have injectables such as Botox and dermal fillers. However, I've got a patient with me today for whom we have injected 16 mils of filler and also done some Botox. So why don't we take a look at her? Okay guys, what do you think? Let's take a look at her. First thing that jumps out at me is the lower face height. No, the chin, if we want to make her face a little bit more feminine, uh, we would take it down a little bit more into a point, like so. Uh, obviously the rest of her structure is great. I have heard it said before that the phi ratio is not suitable for people with skin of colour. Actually, it's been proven in you know many different papers that we can still use this ratio across uh, any type of uh, facial feature, you just apply it in a slightly different way. So for example, on a patient who does have skin of colour, then the ratio that we would use in the lip is a little bit different. So, you know, on a Caucasian, maybe you'd be looking for a third, two thirds. Whereas if it's a person with skin of colour, you can do it sort of like half and half, and it will still look good, it will still look natural because what we're trying to do is just replicate the ratios that we find in nature. You'll often hear the same thing said about uh, ratios in the nose. I'm not touching her nose, so I'm not gonna go into any detail there. And when it comes to facial shaping, actually the rest of the face is pretty similar. So all I'm going to try and do for her is improve this little bit of darkness around the eye make her look a little bit um, less tired. We're going to lift the cheeks a little bit, sharpen up the angle of the jaw, and do a bit of a brow lift. And that's it. Okay, so we're gonna start off with some Botox. We're doing all the classics, frown line, forehead. We're also gonna do the masseter muscle, which is one of the four pairs of chewing muscles. And the purpose of this is to slim the face. I'm also treating the mentalis muscle in the chin to prevent this. Going over to the filler now. First thing, treating the cheekbone, then the front part of the cheek. And the purpose of this is to, you know, start to lift the tissue a little bit and give the face a bit of structure. Last up, treating the temple. Holy moly, we've already done four mils. So you can see here, we are starting to get a little bit of an improvement. You can see that the cheek is starting to come up a little and also maybe you can see a little bit in the temple, the eyebrow is coming up slightly. I don't know if you guys noticed earlier um, that the chin is slightly tilted to one side. So I'm putting some dermal filler in the tip of the chin now to try and straighten that up slightly. We're now using a cannula in the marionette zone round to the point of the chin because she's got some volume loss along the jawline. I'm now doing micro droplet injections in front of the ear to take the face into a bit more of a V shape. And now the angle of the jaw. Treating the angle of the jaw will of course give a little bit of lift back. Holy lemonade, we're at eight mils. She's a pleasure to treat because she really doesn't get that swollen. You can see here that we are just starting to extend the chin and it just gives a little bit of balance to the face. But I'm not finished there. Oh no, we're gonna do some more in the chin. So I'm doing the chin point and now under the chin. So injecting the point of the chin will bring it forwards. Injecting underneath will extend it downwards. I'm now injecting just underneath the nose right here. And the purpose of that is as we get older, uh, the bone changes. So the hole that your nose sits on, it becomes wider with age and it allows the nose to mouth line to look a little worse. So if we inject that, it kind of very subtly smooths the nose to mouth line. I'm now using a cannula to further do the cheek, make it look a bit more cut. And I'm taking that round 
to the temple just to give a nice smooth contour. Have a cigar, that's 12 mils. But I think we can do better than that. Again, front part of the cheek going up towards the tear trough, not quite in the tear trough. You notice that there's some loss of volume uh, along the left part of the jawline. We're gonna fill that now. It's just to make the two sides more symmetrical. Now I'm actually doing the tear trough using a cannula. I'm gonna put a little bit of filler into the central part of the forehead to improve the light reflex there. Last but not least, the lip, everyone's favorite part. I'm going to treat the middle third of the lower lip and the upper lip. Happy Christmas, 16 mils. Okay, cool, so let's have a look. Let's look at the eyes first. So you can see that we have an improvement in the slight depression, which is visible underneath each eye in the initial picture. Uh, the tear trough is now a bit more congruent with the rest of the cheek. The overall shape of the face is a little different because the chin has been elongated. We have an improvement in the jawline. So in the before picture, you can see that there was a little dip right here. It's still there, but not quite as much. Previously, the chin was slightly tilted in this direction. Don't know if you guys can see that. And now a little bit straighter. The lip looks pretty similar, maybe a little bit fuller. Um, but the most interesting thing about the lip, I think, is the improvement in the quality of skin there. So there are fewer vertical lines in the lip itself. Let's just have a quick squiz at her smiling. So on smiling, you can see that these tiny little lines underneath the eye have been softened slightly. We do have a bit more volume in the upper lip, so it's more visible on smiling. And there's a little bit more of a softness in the chin area. Okay guys, so that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, then please just pop them below. You can join me again next week for more of the same. And if you enjoyed the content, why not subscribe to the channel? I'll see you later.